G'day, welcome to episode 13 of our Lap Around Oz. This week, or this episode, we have to cover some territory because we're a fair way behind in filming production. So we go from Broken Hill, head south down through Peterborough, go to Adelaide, service the bike, and then we finish in Port Augusta. Along the way, we see some iconic places, we get the miles in, we experience a lot of wind and breeze, but we do have time to chill out and relax in great surrounds in Adelaide and then catch up with a few friends as well. We leave Broken Hill to head down towards Peterborough. Lots of wind along the way. You can't really see it in the GoPro, but it's really, we're really getting blown around. Plenty of breeze and plenty of heat and lots of goats on the road as well. We stopped at Alari and stopped at the pub and had a quick cup of coffee informed by the lady who owns the pub that she's selling up with no buyer, which is really sad, but that's the plight of small country towns. Here we are at Olari in South Australia. I've gone for the net and it's just in the good old rib. Because of course there's a million flies here. How far inside the border is there? About 100k? Not that far, maybe 50, 60, something like that. Not that far. Really. Not a bad ride. Not too hot today. We're running at 31 at the moment. From yesterday we got to 37. That's pretty good. So we're going to go check out the Alari train station over here. We saw this train station of Alari and we thought we'd walk across. But like a lot of things in Australia, we love a sign. I love this no trespassing sign. Where the hell were we going to go and what were we going to trespass? There was nothing there. Anyhow, it was good to have a look at. Do you have any fruit? I have half a Lebanese cucumber. No, keep that. I've got a tomato. I'll have that. You'll have that one? Yep. Yeah. You want to jump on? We are in Peterborough. South Australia. South Australia. Our town's a bit deserted. Isn't that clever how they've done that? After Peterborough, we got back on the bike and started to head south. The country became very green, beautiful green fields, still very windy as you can see, but it was a lovely ride as we went through several villages on the way down to the Midnight Oil House. Yeah. 
All right, we're in the town, outside the town of Borough, just north of Adelaide, a couple of hundred kilometres north of Adelaide. And in the background is the house that Ken Duncan, the Australian photographer, took a photo of that we not all use for their 1970, 1987 album, Diesel and Dust, which was, looking at good old Wikipedia, was their sixth studio album. And classics such as Beds are Burning and a few other things on it. <laughs> and you're not going to sing them? <laughs> yeah, but it's um, a lot greener than what the album looks like. Uh, but yeah, they've maintained it really well. So there you go. There you go. Well done. Well, it's a great ride and great scenery until we hit the freeway. And it's a typical city. We started to get all the aggressive driving, uh, cut, getting cut off, um, trying to keep a safe following distance, but everyone fills the space. But it was back to reality, and that's the way it is. Okay, we've just arrived in Adelaide. Oh, it was a bit of hard work. And took a long time to get through the city, which was very surprising. The traffic was horrendous. We went out to see where the bike place was and then came back into the city. Then we had to find our apartment because the GPS didn't like the address. And then we had to find the self-parking, which was, of course, not where we're staying. But all in all, we've ended up with a fantastic apartment. We're at the Quest on Franklin, and it is just enormous. We we didn't have a lot of footage of Adelaide because we had such a great time. We went for a run, we enjoyed the markets, uh, had some great meals, caught up with some friends and former colleagues and really enjoyed the t our time there. Also, of course, I had to get the bike service and get some new tyres as well. And big shout out to Moto Adelaide, Warren and the team, really looked after it and the bike was tip top ready for the trip up north. Our journey north was quite spectacular. Here you can see the Southern Flinders Ranges, which were really good to look at as we went up towards Port Augusta. We also, as usual, had to pass quite a few wide vehicles. Again, I do give the truck drivers a shout out. They're very safe and secure. The onus upon us riders and drivers, just give them plenty of room and don't cut in front of them too early. They're big rigs and they take a lot to handle.
So we went through Port Piri for lunch and then we made our way to the majestic oasis in Port Augusta, which is a great facility, well secured. Even though they had a wedding, the wedding party were very well behaved that night. And uh, I like it well secured so that the bike's locked up and safe. So here we are in Port Augusta. Hmm. Top of the Gulf of Vincent. St. Vincent. St. Vincent. St. Vincent. St. Vincent. Yeah. Gulf of St. Vincent. Beautiful day. Just travelled up from Adelaide, so it wasn't too big a deal. We like to get out and about and have a good look at the places we visit. So we had a walk around town, got to the foreshore, went to various parks, etc. to get a real good feel for the place. It's 6.30 in the morning in Port Augusta. And we're going for a run. And Craig's laughing at me, of course. He always laughs at me. So we're about to go for a run. Hopefully we'll get over the bridge. Seagulls are going nuts. Let's see what happens. Whenever we can, we do like to get up early and go for a run. We don't go for much of a run, maybe, you know, five to eight kilometres. But it's a really good way of clearing your head and really taking in a town and just seeing the sights a little bit differently. You wake up refreshed, you're ready to go on the bike, but you've also seen a town from a different perspective and that's a lot of fun. So if you can do it, do it. Well, I won't say it's a good run because I did fall over. <laughs> Not picking up my feet properly on the dirt trail, and over I went. It saved the camera, so I suppose that's a good thing. And I ended up doing five, so I think I'm happy with that. Well, thanks again for joining us. It was a big episode, covered a lot of ground. Next episode sees us leaving Port Augusta, continuing to head north as we make our trek up towards Darwin, and we'll show you where we're going to next time, which is Spud's Roadhouse, at a town called Pimba, which is near Woomera. See you then. <laughs>